There is something about identities in the spirit. There are many doors that only answer to identities. Not to pressure, not to lobbying, not to prayer as a matter of fact, to your nature. There are doors that only answer to certain identities. It is only in the day of your power that your people will be willing. And it is when that your day of power has come. When your true natures have been fleshed out and animated, only then would all the people allotted to your rising, they will show up in your destiny once. The, the people will be willing in the day of your power. The challenge now is how to enter your day of power. And that day, every man has such an appointed kairos season in destiny where the full weight of his ordination will rest upon his shoulders. And in such a day, your people will be willing. You will not know how many people are ready to bear your arm up and fight your battles and defend your name until the day of your power. Suddenly your people will become willing. Just in case you are struggling, you are trying to convince people, people it looks like favor is not at your beck and call. What you are waiting for is the day of your power. If such a day comes, suddenly, suddenly, the people will be willing. How to download your identity? Which identity am I speaking about? Your pre-incarnated identity. The one whom God knows. That one he made reference to in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. When he says before you were formed in your mother's womb. Before you had a body. He says I knew thee and I ordained you a prophet. That form. We want to know how men can download it. And if you pay attention in very few minutes, I will share these things and God will bless us mightily. Number one, it's just three, three, three keys I share with us today. Number one, build capacity. Build capacity. Build capacity. I know just saying build capacity looks like something we are, we are used to. Uh, a common apostasy is what I'm used to. I've, I've been building capacity. Let's explore what it requires, what it takes to build capacity. In Psalm 119, verse 130, quickly, the Bible says, The entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding unto the simple. The Bible is speaking in Psalm 119, verse 105. It says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my paths. So you can enter time and you can be confused about what step to take. Scripture says if you want divine direction as regarding the steps of your ordination, it says what you need number one is the word of God because the word is a light onto lamp onto your feet and a light onto your paths. Is that word that will become for you a voice from behind you saying this is the way, walk in it. Any man that is void of the word of God that has not fellowshiped with the documents of Zion, he will not know his role in the immortal scope of events. You will not even know when the prophecy that is on your life is waiting on you to take a step. So the Bible says he entered the temple and took the scrolls and read. And he says he found a place. He says this day, this scripture is fulfilled. I am the fulfillment of this thing. It has been speaking about me for many years. What have you been reading about? What have you been speaking about? What scripture did you read that hammered your heart as though it had your name on it? Have you ever read a scripture that called your name? When a scripture called your name, it, it was telling you, you are the one to fulfill me. You read, it says, saviors shall come out of Mount Zion. He says they will judge another mountain called the mounds of Esau. And as you are reading it, something is welling in your soul and saying, I will dry the tears of my generation. That scripture is calling your name. He's saying you are the one to make this word to become flesh. Saviors shall come out of Mount Zion. There is too much distraction in the system to make that men will not know the ways of their call. 
So a man must join into the oracles of the spirit and keep his eyes keen on the counsel of God. Only then would you peep into things that were ordained before you came. And when you find your place, the way Jesus found his place. Ah, the Bible says, Lo, I come. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5, verse 7. Lo, I come in the volume of books. It is written, I came after the volume of books. Let me tell you why. Every one of us here too. You only arrive based on demand. There was a demand for you. There was a cry in time. And you were the response to that cry. Your journey started first as a seed of eternity inside Christ. All of us found our root from him. Because without him was not anything made that was made. So it was from you that God fetched, from Christ that God fetched you from. You are a branch. You are an expression. You are a dimension of Christ. And when you enter time, this is what will happen to every man. There are too much confusion, too many voices to make that it to be hard to hear the voice of your creator. So it must be through making reference again to the book. That's where you will find your place. Suddenly you will find out there is something about me and the anointing of healing. Every time you are reading how Elijah raised the dead, that scripture is making all your hair to rise and you don't know why you are not responding like this to other scriptures a scripture is calling your name you are reading impossible things and you are you are elated you are reading about something removing the gate of a city and put upon his shoulder and your body is boiling there's a spirit of might calling your name come and all these things are found only on the mounts of zion <laughs>